quick video and it has to be quick because I'm like under the gun today. I got a 2014 GMC Yukon XL. Customer complaint. Check engine lights on. We're just going to go in here. I've already got it auto ID'd. We're going to do a quick code scan of all the modules just to see what code we got. Or codes, I should say. Pinging them, pinging them. It looks like already we got a mass airflow sensor performance. P0101. <clears throat> So we're just going to run through the testing of that, be a relatively easy one. Either she's dirty, bad, or it's got some kind of debris in it, but we're about to find out. Looks like it's got a couple codes in it. Door switch, imagine that. Door switch, imagine that. HVAC. And like brakes. Let's let it finish here. It's almost done. There's a lot of modules in these uh, these Denali's, <clears throat> these GMC Denali's, so it takes a little bit. All right, there it's done. All right, snap on, cooperate with me. All right, so we got a 101. That's why the CEL is on. Uh, control module power circuit on the ABS. All right, I'm not worried about that. They're not in here for that. Yeah, not worried about that, not worried about that. This is, again, snap on and there's stupid screens let's go back all right scroll back down here just make sure there's nothing else now nah. okay so we're just going after this 101 what i'm going to do here um, i'm going to jump out put a hose on this thing real quick fire up the fan and then we'll start this take a quick peek at some data and then uh, go from there all right guys i'm back i'm gonna go ahead and fire this truck up and if i'm going too fast guys i apologize i'll make a part two kind of going this Going a little bit more detail. I'm just trying to make a video quick here because I'm under the gun. That's just how it is in the shop. All right, so we're going to go into engine. We're going to go into data. All right. Truck seems to be running fairly decent. I'm not even going to mess around. I'm just going straight to my field trim data. All right. And, um... All right, guys, so something to remember here. Okay, I can see already this thing is running extremely rich. It's got a rich condition at idle here. You can see it's cutting fuel big time, both banks. Negative 25 on the long term. Uh, short term. Uh, let me go ahead and just limit this data quick. So let's go into custom. Uh, we're going to deselect all. This will just speed up the data and make it a little easier for us to read. All right, so let's see here. And forgive me, guys. I'm trying to do this with the phone, so it's a little tough. Short-term bank one, long-term bank one, short-term bank two, long-term bank two. All right, and then let's go down. And what we're going to do here is we're going to – we're not worried about any of those. We're just going to find our um, – there it is right there. Bank 1, sensor 1. I just want to see what my O2s are doing. Just to kind of confirm. I want the upstreams. I don't really care about the downstreams at this point. Um, we are going to look at fuel pressure just, just because. I want to see what that's at. Uh, let's see. Make sure ECT is looking good. That's our engine coolant temp, if you don't know. Okay, mass airflow grams per second. We want that. Let's see. We'll just put barrel on there just to confirm our map is reading where it should be. All right, keep on rolling. Keep on rolling, and we're good. All right, guys. So we have a rich condition at idle. We're going to go to... Uh, let's just do a list view for right now. We're just going to take a quick peek here. Okay, so you can see that the computer is basically maxed out on the long term. Um, it isn't completely maxed out yet because the short term is hovering around zero, so it is able to correct for the condition. Okay, we can see already that our mass airflow is about 6.2. Um, see here I can't remember what engines in this thing uh, what 
engine rerunning. I, th I believe this is the six liter, but I don't know. It, it really doesn't matter at this point. All I can tell you is, is that that mass airflow sensor is most likely skewed, but we'll keep rolling here. 28.9 on our barrel, it looks good. It's exactly what I wanna see, 183 degrees. So we are warmed up fairly decent. Um, you can see here we got uh, bank one, uh, bank two sensor one millivolts. And you can see there are the sensor is switching. So if we wanna look at that, um, sometimes it's nice to look at O2 sensors in a graph view. Uh, let's take a peek at that. And you can see that that's a nice, nice switch signal. I can drive it rich or lean. Just by... And there it went. And you can see. So we got good response on the O2s. I am not concerned about the O2s on this at all. Um, let's see here. Let's take a look at the other O2 just to make sure. Uh, let's go full screen graph. Take a peek at this one. You can see there it's a little lazy, but they, there again, you know, it is switching. There you go. Drop lean. Okay. Now, I will tell you this. All right, guys. And uh, again, forgive me. I'm trying to work under the gun here. I am not concerned about this, these O2s. So I'm going to, I'm just actually going to take those, those data pids and just ignore them at this point. What I'm going to look at here now is I'm going to bring the RPMs up and I'm going to take a peek at these uh, long-term trims and see what happens when I bring the RPMs up to about, oh, I don't know, three grand. And you can see there's a slight improvement there. Come back down to idle. All right, and... Let's pay attention to this fuel pressure sensor. Now, the fuel pressure sensor is reading 43 point, about 43 PSI, okay? Let's accelerate again. Yeah, I'm not worried about this. I'm not worried about what we're worried about that at all. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to I'm going to focus in on this mass airflow since that's where our code is and I'm pretty confident we have a mass airflow issue. Go ahead and take a custom. Go back to our custom. We're going to deselect all. We're going to shoot back down to our mass airflow again. All right, grams per second. Sure. And then these are going to be the same most likely, but let's just take a peek here. Go into graph view. Yeah, 5.2. So you can see that it's actually kind of improved now. Um, let's go ahead and give this a snap throttle and see what we get. That was up, what, 128 grams per second? Oh, yeah. Way low. Way low. You can see the computer's calculating it. It's predicting that we're not even hitting 120. Yeah, we we've got it. We most likely have a dirty mass airflow here, guys. Um, let's go into the hood and take a peek at that real quick, and I'll show you how to check make those checks. All right, we're hooked into the mass airflow signal on that yellow, and the mass airflow ground. Back probed, got a scope hooked up, graphing multimeter, whatever you want to call it. We're live 2.9 on our frequency on this mass airflow. That is high, it should be about 2.5, 2.4 at idle, 2.2 even. All right, we're going to give her a couple snaps. Whenever you're ready. Whenever you're ready. Whenever you're ready. Okay. All right, we're looking at a 10 volt, five millisecond screen on this mass airflow signal. That's normal looking. Gonna try cleaning this one. Little bit on that wire right there. 
All right, guys, uh, this was a 6 liter or a 6.2 liter. Um, I, what I basically did is I pulled the mass airflow out. I cleaned it up, um, made sure all the hoses or all the piping and stuff on the intake was all secured properly. Um, so I'm not confident this is the issue at this point, um, and that's why I wanted to try cleaning it first. But I am going to point out this guy right here this fuel composition reset all right this is something you need to keep in mind so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna reset this i ain't even messing around because i've seen this too many times in these stupid gms let's go ahead and hit continue all right i just reset the fuel composition and you can see that my fuel trims are still really high or, you know really negative on the long term there um, I'm just gonna go I didn't reset it I'm sorry I'm going to reset it so I'm gonna hit the reset up here all right <clears throat> resets completed successfully hit exit all right now I just reset the fuel composition okay and that's basically the percentage of alcohol content in the fuel at least what it thinks it has and trust me, these get off all the time. So now we're going to go back and we're going to look at our fuel trims again. And the data. And I've seen this before. And I'm wondering if this isn't it. Oh, you got to be kidding me. So there you go. We're just going to let this uh, idle for a little bit, and you can see already we're right where we need to be. Add the two together, and what do you get? Around four. That's well within the plus and minus ten range. Um, I do like how the mass airflow is reading lower now, uh, closer to six uh, grams per second now. Um, you know, so cleaning it did help. Um, let's let's just take a peek and see what happens on a snap. And there you can see we're hitting 110. Uh, I think my hose just fell off. Hold on. All right, guys, my hose came off my exhaust pipe. One of the guys was yelling at me about it. Anyways, you can see that now um, there's a considerable difference. So now let's just bring this RPM up. Some learning taking place. Just gonna hold it there. I wanna see what this is gonna do. You can see already that there's a huge improvement. But again, we're climbing. We're still climbing, we're still running. Now we're two and four. Let's bring her back up again. And another thing you can do in these Chevys, if, if this learning isn't taking place fast enough for you, let me show you something here. You go back. Go back. You're going to go into functional tests. You're going to go into output controls. And this is where that fuel composition reset is. All right. And you go down here and it says fuel term reset. Oh. Right there. Okay, this is gonna bring up the same thing again. All the data. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, just go ahead and hit reset, and this is gonna reset it to its base value, or you know, basically back to its default settings. And now it's gonna go back, and you know, basically the computer and um, the fuel control has to be relearned, relearned um, through all the tables. So now let's go to data. Let's look at our field trims again. Hopefully it saved my custom list, and it did. All right, so there you go. You can see now we're, all, we're running right about where we should be. Two and four on the long term. I'm okay with this. This is perfectly acceptable. A lot better than it was before. So let's just go ahead and bring them RPMs up again. You can see we're still 
Still getting them negative trims though. But as I'm holding the RPMs, you can see that they're they're running a little it's actually running a little lean. Let's let it come back down to idle. There we go. Now they're countering. Negative six, negative one. And what it's doing right now is it's trying to drive these this long term down and it takes some time on some of these. So we're just gonna let it do its thing. And all I'm looking for is this to come closer to zero at idle. If it does, you know, I'm I'm pretty confident with this. I'm I'm actually gonna probably tell my service advisor just to have him drive it. Um and see how it see how it does you know i don't i don't foresee this mass airflow i mean i just i just don't see it right, let's bring her back up again yeah you can see already the computer's starting to learn see that switching it's happening on that short-term fuel trim that's what I'd like. That's what I want to see. That means this thing's in complete control. Yeah, that. Yeah, is there's nothing wrong with this mass airflow. That's that's another reason why you need to have a scope when you're testing these things. Um, you just ain't gonna see what you need to see on a mass airflow. Outside of looking at data, I mean, you're just not gonna see it. I'm gonna bring it down. And there it is, countering, perfect. And now it's really going negative because it really is trying to drive these things down to zero. And that's exactly what I want to see. I want to see zeros. And this will come down over time. It'll just take a while to update. So I'm comfortable with this, guys. Um, I guess we could do one more snap just to see what we're hitting for grams per second. All right, let's see what we got here. 144 big improvement just from cleaning it just from cleaning it guys so clean the mass airflow i'm going to shut this down clean the mass airflow reset the fuel composition or the alcohol content calculated alcohol content i should say in the um, fuel tank on these and this is a gm thing and then reset your fuel trims and then just monitor it guys and you know clean the mass airflow you know it's a mass airflow cleaner. You know, if the mass airflow has got stuff, a lot of stuff baked on the wire, you know, it's, it's probably time for a replacement. I'm still going to advise the customer that I clean the mass airflow and that uh, there's a good possibility they may need a mass airflow down the road if the code returns, but I, I just don't see it returning. I, I, I mean, this this truck's fixed. So I hope this was helpful. I'll go into, I'll make a part two to this and kind of go into more detail, but I'm under the gun. Um, I'm going to clear the codes out of this and ship this one. Thanks for watching, guys.